Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Prayer Blossom Press, back with another quick tip for you. Today we're going to turn a haunted house into a gingerbread house. You definitely want to stretch your supplies any way you can, and this is a great idea. I have cut out the haunted house die from my favorite things from some craft card stock and then I've ink blended it. You can check out my previous quick tip video to see how I did that, get all the colors there. Now I'll grab my snow marker and I'm going to go ahead and start it on a piece of scrap paper. You definitely want to start this on a craft mat or on scrap paper just so that you don't accidentally get a puddle of snow on your project. You wouldn't want to ruin it. I will outline all of my windows and like the upper edges there, any of the details. And I'm trying to work quickly because I want to heat the snow marker while it's still wet. Once I've got all of my outlines in place, I'll bring in the heat gun. Some tweezers definitely make it handy so you don't burn your fingers. And I'll work quickly to heat it all up and watch it puff up. You'll notice that some of that snow marker has yellowed a little bit. It's picked up some of the ink underneath. It's not a problem. Um, as it puffs up, it, it turns more of a vanilla white again. And you can layer it up if you need to. If you didn't get quite as much puff as you wanted, you can do it two or three times. Just be careful not to singe the previous layer of snow marker. Now I will bring in some clay elements. I've got some candy pieces from HAI Supply and some gingerbread and uh, peppermint sprinkles there from Buttons Galore and more. And this is an idea I got from my friend Jen Gross. She took similar clay pieces and just turned them into uh, gumdrops and that sort of thing on top of another house die. I thought that was super adorable. I'll link to her channel below. And you can see after I glued them on, it turns this haunted house into a really cute gingerbread house. My uh, finished card is here, and I actually made it an easel card that lights up. It's pretty fancy. <laughs> um, you don't have to go quite this extreme if you don't want to. And notice that I even put a zipper on the back here so that I can tuck in a gift card once I get it in place. I'll go ahead and peel back the release paper, seal it up, and then my recipient would pull the zipper to release it. And afterwards, they have a lovely little card that can sit on the mantle and light up. I hope you've enjoyed today's quick tip on how to turn a haunted house into a gingerbread house. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell. You'll get more quick tips just like this. Thanks for watching.